Hello, in this video, I will introduce you the Serene Brushless and uh, Telemetry System. First of all, we look the turbine. We can see the big change is we use a brushless starter for the turbine and uh, building a FOD screen to protect your braid and uh, when you turn the starter it will bring the braid we will turn the shift the fuel tube fitter and uh, we will see the connector is different in the original design we use a data cable and the power cable in data cable they are at, at connection when any one connection not stable the engine will shut down now we change only three pin of cable all data transfer by digital signal now i show you how to connect the brushless ecu the ecu with several new function first of all it can accept PPM, SBUS, and SBUS2 signal. The power for the ECU is 3S DIPO. You can also use uh, 3S DIFI, but we recommend you use a 3S DIPO battery. This is data cable and the power cable to the turbine. Connect to engine. And this is pump. You will see this is a very special pump. Here is the arrow. This is to engine. We need add a filter and the stopper between pump to engine like this. And this side connect to heater tank or UAT. What is the this loop? This is a very special design. When the fuel tube with a very big bubble in fuel tube, the special design will broken big bubble to very small tiny bubble around the, this loop and the output to your turbine so this is will avoid the bubble for fan out and uh, this is a traditional pump we are now test the brushless pump i think we are available at uh, about uh, three months later and uh, so you can see this is a three pin of connector that means we will use a brushless pump in the future this is for power battery 
we plug the power battery here for 3S dipole or 3S DV. And uh, the GSU we connect to GSU PC. And the D bus is for JR telemetry system. We also provide the other of remote control uh, to do the to transfer the telemetry data. If you use a spectrum remote control, we have an adapter for spec for spectrum receiver. In the future, uh, we are now start to build an upgrade of ECU for American market. The ECU can accept spectrum system, no need the adapter. Uh, I think it will be available about two or three months later. And uh, we can use PPM or SBUS or SBUS2 for throttle line input. I will introduce you how to use the SBUS system. So this is the system connection. Now I will show you how to set up the ECU and the telemetry system. In this case, I use a Futaba remote control and uh, 70 little at receiver and I use a SBUS2 to show you how to use the telemetry system. First of all, we must link the receiver. Now we open a new model. In model select, we open a new model. And in linkage menu, we check the servo reverse. The throttle channel must reserve reverse, must re reverse for throttle channel. And the system type, we select 18 channel. So we will restart the remote control. And now we will link this receiver. When we press the link and we plug the battery for the receiver. Now link. <coughs> okay, now it's link. When you see the green light, a uh, green light, and the uh, link is temp is temperished. This means already link. And the telemetry, we ACT, DL, we minima for zero point one second. Okay, the link is finished. Now we will see. The ECU now fresh very fast. And the GSU <coughs> can switch language. We select English now. It's a peer engine offline. What's that meaning? In the turbine, there is another ECU in the turbine. I call it is TCU, Turbine Control Unit. In this unit, we your memory about all the parameters of this turbine. 
including the running circle time and uh, all the limited parameter. For example, the maxima RPM, the minima RPM, and so on. So we must plug the battery for the turbine. Now we plug the battery. We will hear some music come from the brush this motor. That means the power on and now it's a show the stop. <coughs> First step we need adjust RC. I set in the T1 to T6 trim. This is a throttle channel. Uh, the trim for throttle channel is T2. I increase the step, maximum step, 200 step for T2. Why I do this? When I trim down or trim up, only need two step. Trim down, trim up. Okay, now let's look closer. Okay. First, minima. Minima means throttle down, trim down. You will see the number in green. When you throttle up, the number will increase and the throttle down the number will reduce that means this is the pulse from the receiver okay now minima means stop trim down and the throttle down then we press ok and turn it and the next step we trim up and the throttle down this is for idle and uh, the next we throttle up to maxima and uh, this is for maxima we learn the maxima that's all and uh, you will see bus throttle channel 3 that means now our throttle channel is number three so we select number three this moment we using the s bus 2 signal so if we change for example to channel one s bus channel one and uh, you move your throttle stick the signal will not change and uh, we will find the channel 1 is for Aberon and uh, when we move Aberon the number will change so if you cannot find the signal right in right we need to check this throttle channel 3 throttle channel 3 number 3 okay so now it can work now when we <coughs> when we trim down it is a stop when we trim up it will ready trim down it's cooling the starter is turning now and the stop How to start in your engine at the first time? We plug the power and we adjust the RC for minima, idle and the maxima. And we can use the test function. 
we use the test pump function. Press OK. And the pump will pump the fuel into the fuel line. After that, if you like to use the temperature unit, you want to change it, you can change it to the Fahrenheit. It's more easy for you to read the degree. And the then, now it's trained down. We train up. You will see it will ready, show you ready. And the train throttle up and the throttle down. Now start to ignition. Now I will show you how to set up the telemetry system. First of all, we must make sure we use the S-Bus 2 cable connect to ECU. And we select the linkage menu. You will see a sensor. We press the sensor. Page 2, page 3. We can reload. Reload all sensor in the s -Bus system. Okay, now already reload. Now, we the first one, slot one, we select the RPM sensor. Okay, now RPM sensor for slot one. And uh, slot two, we select the temperature. Okay, now slot, select slot two is for temperature. And uh, we will select the slot five. For, for this one sensor, current 1678. And uh, the slot 8, we will find a GPS 1675. This means we have uh, another GPS sensor. Uh, in the future. <clears throat> this is the GPS sensor. What is used for the GPS sensor? Uh, the sensor will show you the, the flight speed, maximum speed, and the limited speed Uh, this function is not available now, but uh, we will make the software and the hardware for a, a adapter in the future. So after that, we select the telemetry. Now we can see the battery now is 5.2 volt. 5.1, very close. And uh, the RPM sensor, we need to fine tune. We fine tune it to one, the rate, the gear rate to 1.2. Okay, 1.2. And uh, <clears throat> you can set the alarm or vibrator, the remote control of your vibrator. For example, when the RPM enter the idle RPM, the alarm will warning you. For example, When the RPM below the idle RPM, that means the engine stop. 
it will warning you try to pass the way for landing. Warning. Okay, now this is again. We <coughs> cancel. Cancel this function. You can try this function by yourself, okay? The temperature. Okay, now the next page is for current voltage and the GPS. So, <coughs> how to display the telemetry information in the screen? We press this button and set up the display menu. For example, uh, at the top, this is show receiver battery. Okay, so and uh, the next we can set up the RPM. Okay, so it's a display RPM now here. And uh, at the second, we can display the temperature. Okay, here. I have no adjust. You can adjust by yourself in the, in the menu. Uh, you, can, you can adjust the temperature by yourself in the menu, in other menu. You can adjust the temperature. For example, I adjust it to 30 degree. Okay, 30 degree. Now it will di display. Twenty eight now, twenty six. Okay. And uh, the final, we can display the the current or the power battery voltage or capacity <coughs> what means of capacity this capacity is the power battery how many capacity you use you can create the capacity in other menu for example now create the battery you used I clean it now diesel that means the capacity now is diesel Okay, so we can make a test. When I throttle up, the RPM now display. And this is capacity. Or you want to change it to the current. Now it's the current for power battery or the voltage for power battery.